Hey everyone, what's happening? It's Friday, April 10th, 2015. Took the day off of work so I can get some work done on this van. And I pretty much had the solar hooked up. There's my charge controller. This is a Bogart Engineering 30 amp MPPT charge controller. And the solar wires coming in, I have a 15 amp fuse on the positive side. 200 watts up top coming in and then some 8 gauge wire 5 feet taking that to the uh, to the batteries there's my shunt for the uh, trimetric 2030 meter and there's an 80 amp fuse that's going to feed my um, it's going to feed my inverter if and when I put one in here. And then here's the box. Got the vents all hooked up as I showed you in previous videos. And I finished up this lid. I just don't have it screwed down. And you're probably wondering why it has that board across there instead of just one flat lid. I used scratch. Scrap, scrap pieces that I had laying around. I didn't have one that was wide enough to cover the whole thing so I just made this. And it actually works out. It's kind of like a nice little handle. Let me show you what I did to the bottom of this lid. I built a foam space it's to take up space so that uh, the lid, the top of the box, is actually down right at the top of that, that outlet tube. So when I lay it down, that just fits down in there. And takes up space so that it it just limits how much gas can actually accumulate in the top of the box since it's kind of an unusual shape anyway there's the lid there's a look at the just made out of foam I just took one inch of that insulating foam I used on the on the rest of the van and then I painted around the lip. That's where the uh, foam seal is going to go, which I haven't put in yet. I'm going to put that on here shortly and then screw the top down. I got the batteries in here. Got them all wired up. Got my ratchet strap hold them in. And they're solid. I don't know if you can see down in there. Again, I'll show you some pictures at the end of the video. But I put a an aluminum turkey baking tray kind of bent it out into shape so it kind of covers the bottom all the way around that way if there's any acid leak out of these batteries small amounts it's only about an inch deep maybe two inches deep it'll hold that and keep it from contaminating the bottom of the box and then I have the 212 volt 106 amp hour batteries wired in series I actually uh, scratch that they're wired in parallel so this side is the negatives and this side is the positives and then I've got uh, positive solar coming in this is the wire that wire is in parallel together that's uh, about six gauge and then this is also six gauge actually I think it's four gauge um, that takes this out out to the uh, <clears throat> fuse. That's a 80 amp ANL fuse. It's kind of what they call for for the size of the inverter I'm going to put on it. 750, maybe up to a 1100 uh, watt inverter. And then the the trimetric shunt, and that that comes in this negative comes in and connects right here actually it connects right there this green wire is just the wire that's connecting the two negatives together but this wire is the negative goes out and feeds that shunt and then all of the negatives for everything that I put in the van co connects to that shunt to the uh, negative side of that shunt and basically what that does 
is it measures amps and volts coming and going from the battery pack. So it's a pretty cool deal. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this trimetric 2030 RV battery monitoring system. Green lights flashing stating that the batteries are topped off and they meet all the criteria that I have programmed in it for full batteries. <clears throat> I'll, get, I'll do a video on this later showing more detail about it but basically the batteries are sitting at 13.5 volts right now and they are a hundred percent charged so that's probably the coolest feature as you use power this will give you a percentage and you don't ever really want to go below 50 percent and then have them fully charged the next day is optimal and you can just shut the monitor off there so so that's the setup this extra wire is where I can mount this monitor wherever I want to I've got like I don't know 20 feet of wire so until I determine where I'm gonna actually put that monitor I just kinda have it just sitting there at the moment but hooked up and good to go I just need to put my seal around the top of this box and then get it screwed down and I'm I'm set I'm going to come off of the other side of that <clears throat> ANL fuse and come to a six um, a, a six circuit circuit breaker where I can put six different fuses, not circuit breaker, but a fuse box, and then the negatives will come off of the negative side of the shunt. Again, I have a little six position. Um, gang or I don't know what you call them where you connect all your negatives together and that way I can run all my wires throughout I don't have a lot to put in here but several lights some LED lights and potentially a television and also potentially a refrigerator so you can definitely get away with a much cheaper solar system than what I put it putting putting in this van but this is kind of a hobby to me, so I spent a little extra money to get these extra gadgets, and I'm kind of a, uh, intrigued with the whole solar thing, so I really like to know what my batteries are doing and what my appliances take as far as power and, and that sort of thing, so this allows me to be able to do that. So for the moment, Friday, that's what I got going. I got that done and then uh, once I get this lid on here and get this screwed down then I'm going to continue on with the build and I suppose basically the next thing is to uh, start finishing up this bed frame and finish the parts that are actually going to hold the mattress up and maybe put in the, that fuse box and the uh, common ground uh, lug there so hope you guys are all doing good I'll be working on it on and off of this whole weekend so hopefully to make some progress the weather is really getting nice around here and I'm really getting anxious to take this thing out for a overnighter or something up on the property and see how see how it does I gotta get my fantastic fan wired in now that I have the batteries in here, I can get that wired in and use the fan, which is pretty cool. Like I said, it's getting warm, and it'd be nice to crank that open and turn the fan on when I'm working in a van. So I hope you're all doing good. Have a good afternoon, guys, and we'll talk with you later.